used that. It was available last year, but it wasn't used. We're using it this year. So that $8 million was already figured into our revenues before the $85 million gap. And by the way, something you should know also, last year we got a single revenue spin up of $5 million from, the, from New York State. That was also figured in. We assumed we were going to be getting that again this year. So that was already figured into our revenues when the time came for us to determine what our budget gap would be and the $85 million. Unfortunately, when, when many people heard about how we got $48.95 million out of the 50 we asked for, that $5 million was thrown in, and a lot of the money that's going to the Board of Education, which they still don't have the right to use because there are a lot of strings attached to it, was all thrown in as if it were all net and available to the Board of Education as of day one, July 1st. Also not true. That's why when I say we actually got 39.7, what I mean is we got $39.7 million of usable money for our budget next year. We did not get 48.5. You were talking with Clyde about maintenance of effort to the school system. Yes. What is this increase in that? Uh, the increase of $8 million to the Board of Education means our maintenance of effort increases by $8 million. So what that means is in next year's budget, absent some change in the contract for excellence or in the state legislation, we are now committed to $218.8 million next year or the following year's budget. But let's be realistic. If we don't get the change in the state funding formula for the following year's budget, we will not be contributing $218 to the Board of Ed because we're going to be making so many cuts to the Board of Ed side and the city side that that number will be significantly lower than even in the current fiscal year. Remember, our maintenance of effort only exists as long as our city's contribution to the municipal side exists. If we cut the city side, we can cut a proportional amount out of the Board of Education's budget. So even though it's roughly 54% education, 46% city, our budget, even if it were 50-50, if we cut 20 million out of the city side, we cut 20 million out of the Board of Ed side too. So it's a maintenance of effort that really is only only legitimate and realistic if we in fact get the funding to allow us to continue with the budget without making significant cuts. One thing that we also were talking about was the fact that why do you think next year would be different as far as the Board of Ed, uh, the State is concerned? I mean, we have been up there, we have fought this fight for years. Won't they even look at this budget and say, see, you did manage to fill the whole Do you I'm really need our that. help? Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to address something. I keep hearing about how the, the city cries wolf every year. Well, if you recall, in 2004, because you were here, many of you were here, in 2004, we were crying wolf again. And because we didn't get the help we needed, we raised taxes 15% and cut $25 million out of the Board of Ed budget and lost over 400 positions and 180 actual workers, teachers, administrators, school employees. That's what happens when people say we're crying wolf and we don't get the help we need. In the, in the subsequent three years, we came in with significant budget gaps, and they've been lowered from over $120 million in that first year, now to $85 million in this year, at the same time frame of our budget preparation. And we've been able to, through a series of help from New York State, one-shot revenues, and you remember the $20 million we got from the purchase of our library back and using that equity. The $20 million we finally got from the uh, money out of the Raceway, which, by the way, we're losing over almost a half a million dollars this year and next year now. Uh, so we were actually able to solve those problems. That's not crying wolf because we finally end up with a balanced budget at the end of the years. That's a great deal of resourcefulness. That's a great deal of, of belt tightening, and that's why our increases are only in the less than 3% increase range. And we were able to solve those budget problems. And this year, we basically emptied everything. We maxed our credit cards out, broke open the piggy bank, and we finally found enough money to fund it. We don't have the resources for next year. I don't even know if it's necessary to go to Albany every week next year if we don't get a commitment out of New York State to finally fix that funding formula because we will not balance our budget in a year. And there are those who say that's fiscally imprudent. Well, you know what? We either have draconian cuts this year and even more draconian cuts to next year. Well, we decide we're going whole right now for one more year, putting every effort we can into it. And by the way, that effort is twofold effort. That's first of all getting the state to finally fix the funding formula in education, which will solve the problem we've got. It's real. It's very real. Look at what every other city gets. Look at what we get. You can see where the, where the problem lies. But in addition to that, as you recall, three years ago, we had a lawsuit going. And the lawsuit was brought on by by uh, parents in our school district, and it was actually headed to a trial date. 
and it was to finally force the fixing of the formula. Well, we got an infusion of money that year, so we withdrew the lawsuit without prejudice, which means we can re-up it. And unfortunately, in the subsequent years, the gap has gotten bigger and bigger again between us and the other cities. So we do have the option of doing that also. It's not what I prefer to do. I'm not sending this out as a threat. It's just a reality of the situation. I would rather, as we always try to negotiate a fair settlement so that we get what we're entitled to, and get rid of even the, the vestiges of that lawsuit so that we can move forward. Mayor? Uh, yes. I have a question. Knowing what we know today about next year's budget, um, would it make, I mean, it has to make sense for us to be able to look at this budget here and today and to say, now we're enjoying the benefits of these one shots and there's no hiring freeze, there is no uh, layoffs, none of that. Should we be looking, once we start going through this budget process, for modest cuts across the entire city to help us prepare for next year? Even though I know it's not going to make much of a difference, but at least we're, we're working in that direction. We're actually doing that. First of all, one of the things that I had the option of doing by the way, the Board of Ed is making three and a half million dollars in cuts from their proposed budget. We made over a million dollars worth of cuts in our proposed budget. So we are making cuts. We're going to be doing throughout the year, consolidating within the city, combining some of the the, uh, the work groups within the city to cut down on the cost of doing business. We're going to be making a lot of small changes that will result in and a hundred thousand or a hundred and fifty or two hundred thousand dollars in a pop is not small but in a $900 million budget it is, and we will do that. But remember, our costs only went up less than 3% in a year when our contracts went up over that, but less than 3%. So we're not spending ex extraordinary amounts of money on the city side, and the Board of Ed is slightly higher, the same thing, because they're providing a better education. Yes, we're gonna continue to do that throughout the, the year. I, I wanted to avoid the idea of just doing something token to show that we're we're trying to do our job better. We are trying to do our job better. We're succeeding at doing our job better. We are making a better quality of life for people. Look at the reduction in crime. That doesn't just happen. That comes because of an extraordinary effort on the part of this city. Look at the increases in test scores and the graduation rates. That happens because of an extraordinary effort on the Board of Ed. Probably significantly greater than the increase in costs on both sides would indicate. So we are going to do that, Councilwoman, and we're going to continue to do that. But I didn't want to make just token cuts so that we could show that we're doing our job when, in fact, 